most of the materials used in our daily lives are made of metals. These materials are being manufactured through the process of electrolysis. Electrolysis is used in the industry for the extraction of reactive metals, electrolytic purification, and electrode plating. How does electrolysis play its role in the manufacture of these materials? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the uses of electrolysis in the industry. Aluminum is one of the most abundant metals in the Earth's crust. It is strong and light. This property is useful in everyday life. Aluminum is above carbon in the reactivity series. The extraction of aluminum from its oxide cannot be done using carbon. The method of extraction of aluminum from its ore is through electrolysis. How does this process occur? Aluminum oxide is found naturally as bauxite. Bauxite is crushed and purified by dissolving it in concentrated sodium hydroxide solution. This mixture will be treated chemically to get pure aluminum oxide. How do we get aluminum from electrolysis of aluminum oxide? We need very high temperature to melt it as the pure aluminum oxide has a melting point of 2070 degrees Celsius. A complex salt, cryolite, is mixed with the molten aluminum oxide to reduce its melting point to 950 degrees Celsius. Molten cryolite is electrolyzed using carbon anode and carbon-lined iron container acting as the cathode. Molten aluminum oxide consists of aluminum ions and oxide ions. Can you name the anions and cations in the electrolyte? Aluminum ions are the cations. They will be attracted to the carbon-lined iron cathode. Here, cations will accept electrons to become atoms. Molten aluminum metal is formed and collected. Oxide ions are the anions. They will accumulate at the carbon anode. Here, the anions will donate electrons to become atoms. Oxygen gas is produced and collected. Another usage of the electrolysis in industry is purification of metals. Copper used as electrical wire has to be very pure to lower its resistance. Copper that is produced in the blast furnace is not pure. Impure copper can be purified through the electrolysis. This method is known as electrolytic purification. How does purification occur? The purification process can be done in the lab. A thin sheet of pure copper is connected to the negative terminal to act as cathode. The impure copper is connected to the positive terminal to act as the anode. These electrodes are immersed in copper 2 sulfate solution as the electrolyte. At the anode, copper atom of the impure copper will ionize to become copper ions. Copper ions will move freely in the copper 2 sulfate solution. Copper ions will be attracted to the cathode. Any impurities sink to the bottom. At the cathode, copper ions will be discharged by electrons to form copper atoms. Copper atoms are deposited on the thin pure copper.
predict what will happen to the anode and the cathode eventually. Eventually, the cathode will become thicker and be replaced. The anode will corrode and become thinner. Another important use of electrolysis is electroplating. In this process, metal is covered with thin layer of more reactive metal for decorative or protection purposes. Observe the electroplating of an iron key with copper metal. See the changes that occur to the key. How does process occur? In this process, the object needs to be plated as the cathode and connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Copper metals act as the anode and connect it to the positive terminal of the battery. Copper would be the source of plating. The electrolyte must contain the same cations as the metal anode. What electrolytes can be used in this experiment? We can use copper 2 sulfate as the electrolyte as it contains the same cations as the metal anode. Other choices are copper 2 nitrate and copper 2 chloride. During electrolysis, copper atoms from the anode will ionize. Copper ions dissolve in the electrolyte and move freely. Copper ions will be attracted to the iron key. Copper ions will discharge to form atoms. Copper atoms will be deposited as a thin layer of copper covering the iron key. We now have a beautiful shining copper-plated iron key. The diagram shows the apparatus to electroplate an iron spoon with silver. Drag and drop 1. The words to label the diagram. 2. The statement to show how the iron spoon can be coated with silver. Your answer is correct. 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 Answer the statements about the uses of electrolysis in industry. Each right answer will make you able to climb the coconut tree to get the fruit. Five questions must be answered correctly to get the fruits. Choose the answer by clicking true or false. Your answer is correct. 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 Which of the following is not an industrial use of electrolysis? A. Electroplating B. Electrolytic cell C. Extraction of metals D. Electrolytic purification
Your answer is correct. In electroplating an iron key with silver, what should be the anode? A. Iron key. B. Pure silver. C. Silver oxide. D. Impure iron. Your answer is correct. Which statement is incorrect about the electrolytic purification of copper? A. Pure copper acts as anode. B. Copper ions are in the solution. C. Copper ions are formed at the anode. D. Copper ions are attracted to the cathode. Your answer is correct. The diagram shows the extraction of sodium from electrolysis of sodium chloride. What happens at the cathode? A. Chloride ions donate electrons. B. Chloride ions accept electrons. C. Sodium ion accepts electrons. D. Sodium ion donates electrons. Your answer is correct. Which is the correct electrolyte to electroplate an iron fence with chromium? A. Iron 2 sulfate solution. B. Copper 2 sulfate solution. C. Calcium sulfate solution. D. Chromium sulfate solution. Your answer is correct. One of the important uses of electrolysis is electroplating. Click each question to check your answer. A. What is electroplating? It is a process in which metal is covered with a thin layer of another metal for decorative or protection purposes. Suggest suitable solutions which can be used in the process above. Copper 2 sulfate or copper 2 nitrate or copper 2 chloride. What happens to the anode? Copper anode becomes thinner because copper atoms donate electrons to form positively charged copper ions. What happens to the key? The key will be coated with copper because of the discharge of copper ions from the anode. In this lesson, you have learned about uses of electrolysis in industry. These are extraction of reactive metals, electrolytic purification of metals, electroplating of metals. Click the picture for more information. Metals above carbon in the reactivity series are extracted by electrolysis. Molten metal oxide is electrolyzed. Metal is formed at cathode and can be collected. Gas is released at the anode. Copper ions from impure copper will be attracted to the pure copper cathode. Here, copper ions will be discharged. Copper atom will be deposited on the thin pure copper cathode. Eventually, the anode will become thinner and the cathode becomes thicker. When we electroplate an iron key with copper, the iron key has to be connected to the negative terminal of the battery to act as the cathode. Copper rod is connected to the positive terminal to act as the anode. The electrolyte is copper 2 sulfate solution. During electrolysis, copper ions will be attracted to the iron key and will be discharged. 
copper will be deposited as a thin layer of copper covering the iron key. Do you know how electrolysis can remove unwanted hair? Electrolysis will permanently remove hair, but it takes repeated treatments and can be expensive. The hair is removed by sending an electrical current to the hair follicle to destroy the root, ensuring that the hair will not grow back. Most electrolysis machines use a needle to introduce a fine wire under the skin as the electricity conductor. Each hair is treated separately, which makes it very time-consuming. If the technician fails to accurately target the root, the hair can grow back. The major risk of using electrolysis are electrical shocks if the needle is not properly insulated, infection, and scarring caused by improper technique.